பாடுகிறேன் உள் பாட்டு எல்லாம் அதுதான் உள்மொழி உன் மகனை போல என்னை நீ வளர்த்தார் என் தெய்வத்தை சொன்ன வழி பாடுகிறேன் உள் பாட்டு எல்லாம் ஜனம் பூதகநாதி சேவிதம் 
ಕಬಿತ್ತ ಜಂಬು ಫಲಸಾರ ಪಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಉಮಾಸೂದಂ ಸೋಗ ವಿಲಾಸ ಕಾರಣಂ ನಮಾಮಿ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾದ ಪಂಗಜ ಮೇ ನಮ ನಾಂಗಲ್ ಅಲಿಕಮಿಂದ ಪೂಜೆ ಏಟ್ರ ಆತ್ಮಕ್ಕೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅಡೆಯ ಪೊರಟಾಗುವ ಓಂ ತಿರುಸಂಬಲಂ my dear family and friends my humblest of vanakkams to one and all of you would you please kindly be seated we will give you further instructions shortly as i hand you over to the service group who will render an opening invocation item ಸುಟ್ಟಿ ನಿಲೆ ಬಡ ಮುಂಬಾಯಿ 
scriptures reveal to be absent from this body is to be present with God. Ladies and gentlemen, dear family and friends, my humblest of vanakams and namastes to one and all of you. Today we gather not only to mourn the loss of a wonderful father, a humble humanitarian, but we have also come to celebrate the life of a gentle giant a legend in the music industry, as everyone affectionately refers to him as Appa Vela Kisten. As we celebrate his life through the medium of song, music, and tributes, touching the lives of both local and overseas artists, the late great Mr. Vela Kisten has made an indelible mark in the hearts of many people. He was a man for the people and the people for the man. A true Tamiran, that was his identity, a true hero of the Indian nation. A man with a smooth, silky, golden voice. A true son of the South African soil, Appa Vela Kisten. Kindly note, dear family and friends, this is not a COVID funeral, but all COVID protocols will strictly be adhered to. So please ensure that you are wearing your mask that covers your mouth and your nose area. Please sanitize at the various stations that we have available. Kindly maintain a social distancing. And please refrain from shaking hands hugging any one of the family members. I make a humble appeal to you, and I know that we are a loving nation, and we'd like to show emotion by hugging and shaking hands, but this is not the time and season for that. So please do refrain from engaging with the family. If you knew my father, he would stand at a distance, and with two hands clenched to his chest, he would take a bow. And that was his humble and his place, his position of humility.
My mother passed on on the 3rd of May on a Tuesday. Appa Vela Kisten passed on on the 8th of May on Sunday morning. He leaves behind siblings Jack Kisten, Mummy Siva Kisten, Sege Kisten, Daniel Gopal Kisten, and also sons and daughter, Marlon and Saloshni, Ashley and Mala, Mary and Saga, and of course, would like to honor my late brother, Naveen, and his wife, Elaine. Eldest brother, adopted under the wing of my father, was Chin Naidu and the late, great Bhima Naidu. He leaves uh, grandchildren, Shailen and Chanel, Ramani and Taveshan, Dishen and Divashan, Sahana and Sevana, grandson-in-law Joshua Pele, granddaughter-in-law Tanil Pele. And he had the opportunity of meeting his one great granddaughter, Srudika. And of course, he leaves a host of family, friends, and ardent fans across the world and the shores, over the shores of South Africa as well. Today we have gathered to pay tribute to him. And before we move on to the tributes, we have now opened the casket for viewing. So we welcome you to come forward and view, to come in a single file maintain a close distance, a social distance with the person in front of you. And uh, of course, we have the family on the left hand side. I appeal to you, please um, do not engage with them. Let's be safe during this time. I hand you over to Deshan, Styla Naidu and the rest of the service team. Amma 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 Oh, 
காற்றனின்றிடும் அகில விழாமே காற்றனின்றிடும் காமணியே தீர சூரசும் பெண்ணியே ஆளுநீரும் அன்ன பஞ்சமும் மதித்திடும் மகாலி ஆதி மகேஸ்வரியே Thank you, dear family and friends. That was Luvashan Mudli. It is now over to Stephen Narayan Sami. Yeah, yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, dear family and friends, once again, I make a humble appeal to you to please maintain a social distance, kindly sanitize at the various stations that we have for you, and please refrain from engaging with the immediate family. Strictly no hugging and shaking of hands. Kindly note that the numbers are certainly climbing in these recent days. Let us be cautious during this time. As I mentioned earlier, we have come to celebrate the life of a music legend, Appa Vela Kisten. In the 90s and the early 2000s, there was a team of men that ruled relentlessly with my father, Mr. Vela Kisten, on the cultural scene. And they were none other than Major General Bala Naidu, Jaya Pillay from the Tamil Advancement Society, Krish Naya, Morgan Govinda. They were a formidable team to be reckoned with on the cultural scene. From Major General Bala Naidu, also ex-president of the Tamil Federation during that time, sends his love and beautiful words that are penned together by him. Due to his uh, affectionate nature for my dad, and going back many, many years with him, that he is unable to deliver this to you, as he is quite emotional. So here is a special tribute from Major General Bala Naidu. The family and friends of the Vela Kisten family, thank you for the opportunity afforded to me to express sincere and heartfelt condolences to a brother, friend, and mentor in the name of the human and musical giant, Mr. Vela Kisten. The family has gone through a traumatic week with the loss of Mr. Vela Kisten and Mrs. Kisten in a matter of days apart. I am indeed privileged and honored to have been associated with this family and more in particular with Mr. Vela Kisten 
for more than 50 years. I became weekly and a frequent visitor at his home and fondly remember the care and love of Mrs. Vella Keston displayed towards us, often in the early hours of the morning and during rehearsals. I know of no other human being that has a passionate, a passion to help other human beings in times of a hardship. The late Mr. Vella Keston was so passionate about our music and culture that he played a pivotal role in bringing TM Soundra Rajan and P. Sushila to South Africa and hosting the farewell show. He insisted that all the poor people must have an opportunity to see the performance at five rand a ticket. We succeeded in many similar ventures and he would always part his knowledge of show business and have the poor people in the back of his mind. Many will pay tribute to this kind-hearted person. He was, and never turned anyone away. He was so incensed to assist people that when artists from Singapore were stranded here in Durban, South Africa, he raised the funds and sent them back home. Vela Kisten is not only a household name in South Africa, but he is well respected as an individual singer and a musician of note. He has done invaluable work to develop critical musical skills and knowledge to our fellow South Africans. His perseverance to inspire the younger generation to learn music while he carried for generations to come. No doubt his children and their children will carry the Kisten family name for many years to come. He was inimitable, humble, thoughtful in a way, and a true servant of our people. He worked extensively and tirelessly in infusing change to the music industry, and we will forever be indebted to his good, gifted, and humble soul. He has enriched our lives with his ideas and the lives of those who have worked with and associated with him. He is credited with promoting dance and music throughout the country, and he assisted in many cultural events without seeking any remuneration or praise. He is truly a friend, a gentleman, and most of all, a humble soul. We will miss our Vela Kisten, but never will he be forgotten. Each and every one of us will want him as a friend, as a son, as an uncle, and a mentor. I thank you. Home Shanti Shanti. And this comes to you with lots of love from Major General Bala Naidu. If there is one organization that my father was closely affiliated with and had his heart and passion with, it was the Tamil Advancement Society of Chatsworth. And here is a letter of condolence that comes from the Tamil Advancement Society. Vanakkam, the president, officials, and members of the Tamil Advancement Society place on record our sincere deepest sympathies and condolences to the family upon the ultimate passing of our dearly beloved Appa Thiru Vela Kisten Avargal. Appa Vela shared a binding relationship with Taz going back over 30 years. He was totally supportive of everything that we did and said that Taz is a part of Lakshmi Stars and vice versa. Our Appa was an amazing person with a very calm persona. He was caring, and every one of us must strive to emulate his humility. He treated everybody with utmost respect. His commitment to his culture and mother tongue, Tamir, is legendary, as he would gladly lend his assistance to any organization that approached him. Apavela did not just belong to his family. He belonged to everybody. Each one of us can claim some form of ownership of him, a true icon of the people. His fans in Chatsworth christened him Anbulla Vela, and this so aptly described him as he exuded love to the people. 
there is a whole generation of musicians that hold their careers to Appa Vela. He leaves a rich legacy in his music, his band Lakshmi Stars, his children and grandchildren, all steeped in his rich cultural heritage that they will continue to foster in his memory. It is said that memories don't leave people, that memories don't leave like people do. They always linger on. We in TESS have such immensely uplifting memories ingrained in us of our dear Appa Vela. We are sure that you have departed to join Amma in eternal rest at the lotus feet of Lord Siva Peruman. Yours in culture, honorary joint secretaries, Roshni Govinder and Colin Kupasami. Ladies and gentlemen, dear family and friends, it is with that note that I call upon the president of TESS who will now address you, Mr. Jaya Pillay. Thank you, Malu. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think last week, Wednesday, that this week, Wednesday, I'd be standing here at Appa's funeral. Vela Christian was a son of the soil of Mount Edgecombe. And until his passing on Sunday, 8th of May, he was still a resident of Campbellstown, Mount Edgecombe. He was always grateful to his dad, the late Mr. P. Kiston, for introducing everyone in the family to the world of music. He left school at a very young age to supplement their income by working in the sugarcane fields. He worked for the sugar mill until his retirement. Vela, as you all know, was an internationally acclaimed vocalist, a renowned vocalist with an instantly recognizable, melodious voice. Today, singers have an access to modern technology. Vela came from an era when he used to tell me how they used to watch a film and then go and buy the 78 RPM vinyl record, play this record on the gramophone and learn the song. He spoke very fondly of those days which gave him the grounding for his path in music. I cherish those conversations as he used to reminisce about the past. To me, it was an honor and a privilege to listen to him because he was a library of the local music industry. The Christian family rose to great prominence when the band Lakshmi Entertainers released the vinyl album Anne Varudibam in 1981. This was followed by Issei Malar. The voice of Vela Kristen was heard in every home, every car, and the buses and chats with their record players. The driver would play one song in town. He'll repeat the song when the bus comes to Clearwood, and then when they reach chats with the driver will play the same song again. Everybody learned the song. It crossed the linguistic and religious barriers. The song is none other than Padu Giren. Wherever we had shows, people would request the song and Vela would change his song on the program to accommodate the request. And he would say to us, you know, without the fans we are nothing. So if they ask for a song, we must give it to them. Since Sunday, social media has had so many postings of the song. The breakfast so show on Lotus FM ran a competition on Monday and Tuesday, asking listeners to send in a clip of them singing the song. On a lighter note, one listener said to a 
to the uh, station, a, a song, Padu Giren, is the Blue Lagoon song. Because she said, this is the song that played in the boot parties. And that's true. I have a neighbor in Chatsworth who also entertains us quite often with this version of Padu Giren, especially on a Friday evening. However, the best thing I heard was a listener who called in to Lotus to say, Padu Giren was the national anthem of the Indian people of South Africa. Absolutely true. Everybody will tell you that is true. Padu Giren was the national anthem of the Indian people of South Africa. In 1986, Appa Vela formed the Lakshmi Stars. He was unstinting in his belief in the ability of his young and multi-talented musicians and this had not wa wavered until the band was formed. F from that time to now, he believed in them. Vela was the driving force, working tirelessly in the background. The band won many awards and accolades and were dubbed the most popular music group in South Africa. But Vela wanted the band to record, and he was focused and driven in his desire to see this happen. In November 1993, Vela Kirsten became the first local artist to be awarded with a gold disc. It was a huge honor. This was followed by the Lakshmi Stars becoming the first local band to release a CD featuring original compositions. 35 hours in Azam Khan's studio had seen Vela's dream come true. Lakshmi Stars became a household name and played throughout the country. But Vela had a special affinity with the people of Chatsworth. The band played the very first contract in Chatsworth. So it followed that Vela chose to launch the CD Ama in Chatsworth. The fans in Chatsworth, as you heard, couldn't get enough of him and christened him Anbula Vela, the loving one, the loving Vela. Vela supported numerous religious organizations, cultural, social and sporting organizations with their fundraisers. He never said no. I remember something that stays in my mind all the time. Over 20 years ago, an artist had a show scheduled for a Sunday afternoon at Skedifa Hall in Chatsworth. That person, that artist, had an art attack on the Saturday afternoon, and the show was Sunday. Yeah. The show was sold out, and somebody told Vela what had happened. He phoned me and he said, I heard about this. Don't worry, get out of Krish and the team, we will do the show. So the people came expecting the artist whose name was on the ticket, but got a full Lakshmi star show. At that time, 500 rand was a lot of money. And so, he got the band, he sp I think it was Marlon, if I remember contract correctly, to come and put 500 rand down on the stage. And he said, right, whoever has got whatever money in your pockets, this show is for a temple. Come and give us. And the people came and gave the money for the temple. That was Vela Kirsten. He was a very caring and loving person. I am yet to meet someone more humble. I have never known Vela to get hangry or raise his voice. My wife said to me yesterday, can you imagine if everybody had Uncle Vela's characteristics, what a wonderful world we would be living in. And I think that was so true. He cared so deeply. He is lying in a hospital a couple of years ago and he phones me to ask me how I'm doing. Who will do that? He's not bothered that he's sick and he's lying in hospital. He's phoning me and asking me how I'm doing. Whenever we left Mount Edgecombe, we have to phone him on arrival in Chatsworth. So one Sunday, we left Krishnaya, made a detour. He went to his sister's house. We ended up in Newlands and we had forgotten about Appa Vela that he'll be waiting for our phone call. So as it turned out, he got worried after a short while when he did not get a call. He phoned my house, he phoned Krish's house, and then he was getting ready to get into his car and come looking for us. Maybe we had an accident on the N2 or whatever. 
But Krishna's wife figured out that we may be in Newlands and she phoned to tell us, you know what, Uncle Vela is so worried, why you guys didn't phone? That is how he was, that's the caring side. Vela was a unique person. I personally, I feel blessed, honored and privileged to have known him. Knowing him and associating with him has definitely made me a better person. They say everybody must aspire to leaving a legacy. Bella Keston has left an amazing legacy in his music, which will play on. The band Lakshmi Stars is also his legacy. They will continue for generations to come, keeping Appa's memory alive. His children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews are also his legacy, and they will keep the flame burning. I will miss those phone calls on Diwali, Christmas Day, all the good days. When I answer the phone, he will say, Jaya, how you kana? I can never forget that. Go well, Appa. Thank you. Tiru Jaya Pillai Avargalakkam Migavam Nandri. A true legend in his own right, a pioneer of Mount Edgecombe, rich in the Tamil culture and his heritage, a precious soul, a heart of gold and a silky smooth voice that no one can imitate. Many have tried, but we have come to realize that there is only one Vela Kisten. As he has inspired many, coming up next is another singer that was also inspired by Mr. Vela Kisten, Tony Chinsami. If you haven't viewed the face as yet, please do come forward and maintain social distance and please restrict your engagement with the families as well. Thank you. Samaratam. Samara 
தம் உள்ளவம் நிலமே நம் வாழ்வல் காணா தமரதம் உள்ளவம் Thank you to Tony Chinsami. Ladies and gentlemen, our next tribute is paid by my father's eldest granddaughter, Ramani Kisten, one whom he was certainly very proud of, more especially entering into the field of medicine. He often spoke with her and he often trusted her judgment and her medical knowledge as well and i hand you over to my daughter ramani kisten good morning all today i have the honor of reflecting on Bella Kisten's life as a grandfather to remember the life and legacy he leaves on the earth Tata was above all a family man followed by a great storyteller he was so passionate and would remember every vivid detail of his young days whenever i interrupted his story he'd say wait listen I'm telling the story. You can ask your questions at the end. I could stand here and reminisce about all the stories that Tata would tell us, but for those who knew Tata, you'd know how un and understand how long those stories could be. Tata's most prized position was his dear wife. He always said, "As soon as I laid eyes on your granny, I knew that this was the girl I wanted to marry. They shared a unique love that was so inspirational. My grandfather taught us the value in honest and hard work. His famous line was, "Education is the key to your success." He'd say, "My children must do better than I did, and their children must do better than they will do." in all his hardships and frustrations in life he was a gentle and loving father to his children and it warms my heart to see my father marlin and my uncle ashti inherit this gentle loving fathering parenting from their father 
Thatha was well known for his humble and respectful nature. He'd give the same amount of respect to everyone he met, no matter the status, the age, gender, or race. He respected us as his grandkids, always asking about our opinions, our goals, and our interests. If we won an award or dressed up to attend a function, he'd say, let's take a photo together to remember this day. He was a proud grandfather, ready to celebrate our every small accomplishment. He was not only a grandfather, but a great friend. He'd call regularly to check up, how was your exam? Did you reach your destination safely? And if we're out too late, he'd call and ask if everything is okay. When he became too ill to talk over the phone, he learned how to send text messages. This was the, used to take up too much of his airtime. He'd send about five to seven text messages in a week. Not many kids have the pleasure of seeing their grandparents often, but we had the pleasure of growing up in their home. They saved us from eating vegetables and catching a hiding all the time. We will miss our grandfather dearly and we treasure the memories that we have with him. To conclude and bid farewell to Tata, I'd like you are. You leave us with big, big shoes to fill, but we will aim to make you proud and be better human beings. We appreciate your sacrifices and hard work to give us a better future, and we promise it won't go to waste. We will do better than our parents, and our kids will do better than us, and it will continue that way. We find comfort in knowing that you are reunited with your golden girl and no longer in pain and sickness. Until we meet again, rest well, Tata. Thank you, Ramani Pillay. Bella Kiston began with family band Jack Kiston and Party. Later on, moved on to Lakshmi Entertainers. And further on, he opened Lakshmi Stars, which is the now and ever popular Lakshmi Stars. During his musical career, he has paved the way for Indian music in South Africa. His unique voice, his style, and charisma has been emulated by many across the country. One such musician and singer that was deeply influenced by my father is none other than Pregladan Vadivel, a singer who has started at very humble beginnings at a very early and a young age, and today he plays music on a professional level. It is a wonderful joy to hand over the microphone to this great accomplished musician, Pregladan Vadivel. Ladies and gentlemen, special attention to all drivers. ND318365, it is a Honda Ballard. You are obstructing uh, the funeral procession. The hearse needs to come out. Honda Ballard, ND318365. Sir, 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 kindly remove your vehicle. Thank you. Can I have your permission to say it a few words? Not more than a minute. I like the introduction, you know, to me by Marlon. Um, I've been qualified in whatever, doesn't really matter, but somebody reminded me. Uncle Vela had no qualification in that way. You know, whether it was in music or any other thing, I'm not sure. Either. But the kind of a giant he was didn't need anything. I've heard all the speeches, or most of them, and it says the humility. But I want to add on one more thing, which 
one of my brothers said to me, Nithyan, he says, when uncle spoke, all he sang, it was a honey coming out of his mouth. Vanakam Pregla, Vanakam Nitya. And at that tone, he spoke. And you're right, Uncle Jaya. That was the kind of person. When you heard his voice, you felt. So I want to say to Marlon, Ashley, Mary, and the rest of the family, you know, thank you for actually lending him to us, uh, to most of the people here, the elders, the friends, the family. Um, we are proud. In Uncle Jaya's words there, we are proud that we have known him in this era. We won't forget that. Uh, Nathan said to me early on, in terms of anger, he says, you, we've never seen it. Probably did get angry. I'm sure as a father we would. But you never saw it for some reason. Or maybe he was just like that. Because when I used to talk to Ashley, <laughs> Ashley never spoke as far like this is my dad. He spoke, it was like way elevated in terms of like uh, like a god status um, we had to remind him that's your dad but that was the kind of person so farewell to uh, my father I regarded him as my father Appa Vela. Uh, lots of conversations with him so this song um, we help the the soul of this energy we help him up to the maker Sitte milam yenekwe siva mayam. க 
Just to reiterate what Pragaladhan has said, I am my father's eldest son. I am 53 years old. That was his greatest and most harsh word. At this age, I've never seen him angry and I've never seen him lose his cool. Those are big shoes to fill for us. Maybe walk in them. Members of the Sandfield Siva Subramaniar Temple in Sandfield's Tongat pay tribute to the late Mr. Vela Kisten. The 8th of May 2022, the country woke up to the sad news that a giant Tamil oak tree has fallen. It was the devastating news that a legend in the music industry and Tamil culture, Mr. Vela Kisten, has passed on. It was in the late 1970s when the late Mr. Vela Kisten, together with his then Lakshmi entertainers, performed under a makeshift marquee to raise funds to build a proper temple hall for our temple. The Sandfield Civil Our temple then operable night, the ecstatic crowd would not let the dynamic band leave Sandfields. That night, Mr. Vela Kisten promised the Sandfields community that he will come back and perform in Sandfields one day. True to his words, almost 50 years later, he returned to the Sandfields with the popular Lakshmi stars. To perform at our new temple hall to a packed and enthusiastic audience, he reminded the audience of the promise he made to the community. In expressing our eternal gratitude to this Tamil giant, with his melodious voice that God Almighty blesses his soul with moksha and peace for our legendary Mr. Vela Kisten deserved nothing less. Our deepest sympathies and condolences to the grieving families. Rest in peace, sir. And this comes to you with lots of love from the members of the Sandfield Siva Subramanir Temple. My father, Mr. Vela Kisten, was well connected. He was connected with the man on the street whom we regarded as a drunk, and he was also well connected with people in high and influential places. One such man that he was well connected with in Kauteng, 
and they shifted and changed the entire music and cultural scene and changed the tapestry of our music industry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful joy to call upon this man who is the president for the International Movement for Tamil Culture, Mr. Mickey Chetty. Mr. Mickey Chetty, would you please come through, sir, and say a few words. Vanakkam, Namaste, Namaskaram, Sairam, to one and all. It is a very sad moment for us to be here today. On behalf of the International Movement for Tamil Culture Worldwide and the South African Tamil Federation, which I both served, we take this opportunity to convey our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the Kistin family for the loss of the father, grandfather, brother, to whom we mourn <coughs> the departure of a true legend in the Tamil community in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, Vela Kistin's death has come as a shock to all of us, as he was a true music legend. The Lakshmi Stars has performed throughout South Africa. They have also performed at various major events across the country and had the honor and privilege of backing international artists like T.M. Saundarajan, Kartik, T.M. Silver, <coughs> Silver Kumar, P. Shushulas, and many others, including the Suraj Babu troupe. <coughs> they have drawn large crowds at the Chatswood Stadium when the IMTC and TAS hosted the Tamil New Year celebrations in 2015. At that said event, it was an honor for me to, to engage with Jaya and Bala Naidu. <coughs> At that time, Bala was the president of the KZN Tamil Federation. I'd asked him, I have a serious problem in awarding this, this legend because of two simple reasons. He has received a number of awards, Nadrajas, trophies. So they asked me, uh, what are you saying? So I said to them, listen, Vela is not alone. Vela has a wife. So let us respect her and also honor her. But I said, how are we going to do this? And you know, Jaya was very, he's very cute, you know. And he said to me, what are you thinking of? I said, look, let's organize a trip to India and let them go out there and have a wonderful time. So we made a presentation as the IMTC at that time. And before we made that arrangement, we also engaged with the family and we, engaged with Ashley and Ashley said look I'll leave it to you guys I don't know what you're talking about but whatever you'll want to do it's fine and you know what was unique about Bella when we told him about th this trip he was more worried about how much this trip is going to cost 
Now, you know, and what brings back to that memory, and it hits me very, very hard when I see our musicians in South Africa. When you get musicians from overseas, they first put a price tag to it. And in South Africa, the musicians here in South Africa, they do not put a price tag to it, whatever they do. I think if, if, Bella was, if Bella was overseas and he had to perform anywhere, I think we should have made a lot of money. I think the family should have made a lot of money. But Bella did not believe in that. He was persistent to know how we're going to do this. So I told him, Dad, I'm going to sponsor you the trip. So don't worry about it. And you know what? He went overseas with his late wife. And while he was overseas, he insisted with our travel agent, Mr. Gopinath, to call me and tell me that he's having a wonderful, uh, he's having a wonderful time. Now that was unique, unique. You know, we made a lot of presentations, we sent people overseas and whatever. We didn't get a phone call from where they were. But Bella continuously contacted us. When he went to a temple, he contacted us. And when he went to the studio, the Suraj Babu studio, he was busy performing there and he called us. So that was the legend that I would say. And you know, I'm, I was fascinated by him in the sense that he was the most humble and kind human being that I've ever known. I worked with a number of people throughout this country and worldwide. I've never met a person which is more kind, more humble, and as we have heard here today, that he has never ever disregarded anybody. He always treasured people. So, <clears throat> what I also want to say is that we were happy that we were part of the celebrations, the 50-year celebrations that he had at the Sri M. Paramal Temple also. He has contributed tremendously to assist, teach musicians and artists that was almost, that reached great stars. I want to tell you something. There was somebody which I had an opportunity to have a long dis discussion with. And uh, that, is, that was Bhima. You know, Bhima had a troop of children. He didn't have a small group of children. He had a troop of children that he was teaching music. And one day, I, I sat down with him at the ice to fit and I said, you know, Bhima, I'm so proud of you. And you know what he said? He said, I get this from Bella Kista. He taught me, he helped me, and I want to tell you that I appreciate what he has been doing, and I'm just carrying this forward. So ladies and gentlemen, we see a giant, a legend that we have lost. I also want to <coughs> convey the sympathies that and the various letters that I have received from uh, abroad, it, I want to make it my duty to, to indicate that Mr. Shanmugam of the IMTC, who is the president of the International Movement for Worldwide, the Center Condolence Message, Mr. Thiru Raja from Toronto in Canada has also conveyed his sympathies Mr. Mani Varan, who is the secretary and based in Chennai, has also sent his condolences. Mr. Gennesalingam from Germany has 
sent his condolences. And Mr. Visu from Paris in France has also conveyed his uh, condolences. Now, if you look at those names and those people that have sent these condolences, this giant is known worldwide because they have performed in South Africa with us. The Lakshmi Stars have done excellent good work. And I want to thank Jaya. I really want to thank Jaya. Jaya was the one which started this movement that we get involved with Taz. And I want to say thank you, Jaya, that we have known Bella Christie. Thank you. Special thank you to Mr. Mickey Chetty, President of the International Movement for Tamil Culture. Here is another message of condolence that comes from the Sri Muruga Kovil in Northcroft, Phoenix. To the Kistan family, on behalf of our Gurukul, Dakshina Murthy, Chairman Terence Govindsami, and the executive membership of, the, of our Kovil, it is with the deepest sorrow and sadness and our sincere condolences that we pay tribute to your dad, Mr. Vela Kiston. Besides the services that we were fortunate to have in his presence, he gave us all his kindness, loving, caring, and never forget to give the personal attention whenever he could to our Corville. He will always be remembered as a legend that had this unique musical gift. He had vision towards the cultural activities and for quality entertainment and the promotion of arts and culture. Lakshmi Stars became and is an household name for and with our community and far afield. Every record made by Mr. Vela Kisten is a memorable musical success. His contribution to the Indian community is immense and his songs are appealing to the young and to the not so young. Mr. Vela Kisten and Mrs. Kisten's passing is not only an irreparable loss to the cultural and music world, but also to the Kisten family and the community of New Cottage and Mount Edgecombe. On a personal note, our deepest sympathies to the Kisten family. We remember with fond memories the North Coast Tamil New Year celebrations where Anthony and I sang. Representing our Koval and both the late Mr. Bhima Naidu and Mr. Vela Kisten gave us immense encouragement and yes, we did well under their tutelage. May his gentle, hardworking, honest, selfless and countless acts of kindness be forever emulated. With deep respect and admiration, Priscilla Pele on behalf of Gurukul, Dakshina Murthy and Chairman Terence Govindsami, Executive and Membership of Sri Muruga Kovil. Ladies and gentlemen, as you have seen on social media, that the passing away of both our mother and father was within a space of five days. Yet, and yes, it is heart-wrenching. But there is no other way to look at it except it is the grand design an architect of a loving and a caring God. With that note, my dad's number one icon in the music industry was none other than the late TM Soundara Rajan. He emulated his voice and articulated his sounds as he began to sing and he leaned more towards his songs. And he once, he always said to all of us in the band, if you can sing a TM Soundara Rajan song, you will sing any other song in the world. And so true to his words are those. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one other singer that was deeply inspired with him and his singing, and they practically kept the music industry alive together, is none other than radio and TV stage personality, Lotus FM's Sagran Naidu, who will now render the next song item in memory of my dad.
வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் இன்னைக்கு ஒரு சொக நாள் ஐ ஆம் பிரிவிலேஜ் டு ஹவ் நோன் மிஸ்டர் வேலா கிறிஸ்டன் ஃபார் வேல் ஓவர் ஃபார்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் லைக் த அட்மரேஷன் ஐ ஹேட் ஃபார் இ மீ ஈ ஹேட் த சேம் அட்மரேஷன் ஃபார் மீ ஆல் த ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் தட் ஹவ் கம் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஹவ் செட் வால்யூம்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் கிரேட் மென் நமக்கு ஆண்டவன் ஒரு பெரிய பரசு கொடுத்து நமக்கு God has given us a beautiful gift, a man of simplicity, humility, generosity and creating beautiful music for so many years and also uplifting South African musicians. So to my elder brother, Mr. Vala Kristin, I know I came home that day to see you but you were admitted to hospital and I missed you again and when he used to call me, and i said i want to come and see you but i said no wait till this covid settles down then you can come and see me so unfortunately i didn't have that opportunity so my blessing is go to im may lord namah shivaya give you him in his boat and his wife also that passed away it is really heartbreaking for the family ashley marlin mary and the entire christian family எப்படி பாடினரும் எப்படி பாடினரும் அடியாரப்படினா ஆசை கொண்டேன் சிவனே எப்படி பாடினரோ எப்படி பாடினரோ அடியார் அப்படி பாடன ஆசை கொண்டேன் சிவனே எப்படி அப்பரரும் சுந்தரரும் ஆடுடை பிள்ளையும் அருள்மணி வாசகரும் பொருள் உணர்ந்து உன்னையே அருள்மணி வாசகரும் பொருள் உணர்ந்து உன்னையே எப்படி 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 பாடினரோ அடியார் அப்படி ஆசை கொண்டேன் சிவனே எப்படி பாடினரோ குருமணி சங்கரரும் அருமை தாய்மானாரும் குருமணி சங்கரரும் அருமை தாய்மானாரும் அருணகிரிநாதரும் அருள் ஜோதி வல்லலும் அருணகிரிநாதரும் அருள் ஜோதி வல்லலும் கருணை கடல் பெருகி காதலினால் கணித்தமிழ் சொல்லினா இனுதுணை அனுதினமும் எப்படி பாடினரோ அடையார் அப்படி பாடனா படி எப்படி பாடினரோ அடியார் அப்படி பாடனா ஆசை கொண்டேன் சிவனே எப்படி பாடினரோ
Special thank you to Segrin Naidu. Here is a short message that comes from the Chatsworth Police Forum. To the Kiston family, the members of the Chatsworth Community Policing Forum convey our sincere condolences to the bereaved families on behalf of our community. Vela Kiston played an instrumental role in community development through his unparalleled talent in music in KwaZulu Natal and generally in the Republic of South Africa. His passing away leaves an indelible mark in the fabric of our society. Vela Kiston will be fondly remembered through the legacy he leaves behind. This comes to you with lots of love, Mr. Jake Singh, Chatsworth Policing Forum. The Mount Hitchcomb Shri and Peramal Temple Senior Citizens League, a tribute to a true legend of Indian origin. I know he is looking down right now on all of us, and I truly believe he knows just how loved he really was. Our departed soul would have loved all this attention. What can I say about this legend? He was honorable, he was kind, he was more than a fair person. He was sweet, charismatic, and a true gentleman. He was very loving and giving. Coming from humble beginnings, he turned that humble beginnings into a maestro, specifically related to his singing talents in the local music industry. His music has touched and etched many people across the globe. He has really put the Indian community of South Africa on the world map. He was a hardworking individual, working hard at everything he put his hands on and created a magic. It touched so many people he came in contact with. He was an incredible gentleman. He loved life, he loved people, thus marking him a people's man. We have all heard that life is a lot shorter than any one of us realize. And you just don't know what you have until it is gone. His music has captivated audiences and left them spellbound. With the choice of words so appropriate for the respective songs, it was mind-blowing. His songs were sung with his melodious own voice, which captured both the young and the old. To Mr. Vela Kisten, you are and forever will be the hero to thousands, if not millions. God loved you, and now you are home. However, we will someday link our chain and meet. Thank you for being that human being that you was. You are a true and iconic legend. May your wonderful soul rest in peace. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. If we all put our trust in God, we can and will get through anything. Whilst we are on the ride of life, we, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. If we all put our trust in God, we can all get through anything. While we are we have taken the good and the bad. Smile when you are sad. Love, learn from your mistakes, but never regret. People change, things go wrong, but remember, life goes on. May his wonderful soul rest in peace and find solace in this journey. Lots of love from the Mount Edgecombe Sri and Peramal Temple Senior Citizens League. As you have heard the various speakers say that dad was well connected with people locally and overseas. Another such person that he was well connected with and brought over to South Africa was the son of the legendary TM Soundaru Rajan and he is none other than TM Selva Kumar. TM S. Selva Kumar lived at our home. Dad never allowed him to stay at a hotel or a bed and breakfast. So he shared many weeks with us at home and sharing meals with dad and they shared a special bond. Unfortunately, they were unable to attend. But coming over the PA speakers is a special message from TMS Selva Kumar, son of the legendary TM Soundarajan, all the way from India. Vanakam, Malan. I am speaking TMS Selva Kumar, son of TM Soundarajan. Now, one million rumbo, 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 manasiki, rumbo, cavalier, can. Then, a hyper patrol, a father, well, like Christian, one day. He's a very great man. 
ஒரு நல்ல மனிதர் இப்படிப்பட்ட மனிதரை வந்து பார்க்கவே முடியாது இஸ் நாட் வந்து அவர் வந்து இன்றைக்கி நேரத்தில் என்னுடைய பழக்கம் வந்து நைன்டி டூலேருந்து அவர் எனக்கு பழக்கம் அது மாத்திரம் இல்லை எங்கள் வீட்டுக்கெல்லாம் வந்து என்னுடைய இருந்து என் கூட ஒன்றா உட்காந்து சாப்பிட்டு அவ்வளோ சந்தோஷமாக இருந்தவர் எங்கள் ஃபேமிலியிலலாம் அவ்வளோ நல்ல ஒரு என் ஒய்ஃபையும் என் பிள்ளைகளையும் அத்தனை பேரையுமே அவர் வந்து அவ்வளோ ஒரு விசாரிப்பார் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு மனிதரை பார்க்கவே முடியாது அப்பேற்பட்ட மனிதர் அவர் சாதாரண மனிதர் இல்லை இந்த தென் ஆப்பிரிக்காவிலே வந்து என் தந்தையாருடைய பாடல்களில் பாடுவதிலே அவர் எப்போவுமே தென் ஆப்பிரிக்காவில் ஒரு டிஎம்எஸ்ன்னு தான் சொல்லுவாங்க அவரை எனக்கு தெரியும் இந்த மலர்களைப் போல் தங்கு உறங்குகிறாள் அவர் பாடியிருக்காரு அதே மாதிரி ஆல்பம் அம்மா பாட்டு இந்த மாதிரி எவ்வளவோ பாடல்கள்லாம் வந்து அவர் பாடி ஒரு நல்ல பிரபலமானவர் இருந்தவர் அது மாத்திரம் இல்லை தென்னாப்பிரிக்காவில் வந்து அவர் இருந்த ஏரியாவில் எஜ் கோம்ப் எஜ் கோம்புங்கிறது இல்லை அவர் இருந்த ஏரியாவில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அந்த ஊரில் அத்தனை மக்களும் அவர் மேலே அவ்வளோ ஒரு பிரியமாக இருந்தாங்க நான் பா நேரடியாக பார்த்ததுனால தான் எனக்கு தெரியும் இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு மனிதரை வந்து நம்ம பார்க்கவே முடியாது இந்த ஜென்மத்தில் வந்து அவரை பார்க்கக்கூடிய எனக்கு ஒரு நல்ல வாய்ப்பு எனக்கு கிடைச்சது பாக்கியம் கிடைச்சதுன்னு நான் சொல்ல முடியும் அவர் எப்போவுமே அவர் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டே தான் இருப்பார் தந்தையவர்கள் பாடலை பாடி பாடி அவர் எல்லா இடத்துலையுமே அவர் நல்ல பிரபலமானவர் அப்பேற்பட்டவர் அவர் என்றைக்குமே அவருக்கு மரணமே இல்லை ஸோ அவர் வந்து எப்போவுமே அவர் இருந்து கொண்டு உங்கள் ஃபேமிலி எல்லாருக்குமே அவர் எல்லா பிளெஸ்ஸிங் உங்களுக்கு பண்ணி கொண்டே இருப்பார் மாலன் நீங்கள் டோன்ட் வரி கவலையப்படாதீங்க நான் எப்போவுமே அவருக்காக ப்ரே பண்ணிகிட்டே இருப்பேன் ஏன்னா இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு நட்பு நம்ம பார்க்கவே முடியாது அதுதான் நல்ல நட்புங்கிறதுக்கு உங்கள் அப்பா ஒரு அடையாளம் வெரி கிரேட் மேன் த கிரேட் 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 மேன் வி கேன் ஆல் சி லைக் யுவர் ஃபாதர் இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்டு தட் இஸ் ஐ ப்ரே டு காட் மால நான் சொல்கிறேன் அவருக்கு வந்து என்றைக்குமே அவருக்கு மரணம் இல்லை அவர் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டே இருப்பார் உங்களுக்காக அவர் எப்போவுமே உங்கள் கூடவே இருந்து உங்கள் ஃபேமிலி எல்லாருக்குமே நல்லது அவர் செஞ்சு கொண்டே இருப்பாருங்கிறத நான் இந்த நேரத்தில் தெரிவிச்சுட்டு நான் எப்போவுமே ப்ரே பண்ணிகிட்டே இருப்பேன் தேங்க்யூ மாலர் Thank you. That was TMS Selva Kumar. Together with the various troops that graced the shores of South Africa during those international tours, Dad had become acquainted with many musicians from India. Another such musician is none other than the drummer Shankar from Chennai, India. And this is his audio file. Thank you. I'm the drummer Shankar. I'm the drummer Shankar. I'm the drummer Shankar. இறந்த செய்தி கேட்டு ரொம்ப மனசு வருத்தமாக இருக்கு நல்ல ஒரு பாடகர் அதுவும் தமிழ் பாடகர் சவுத் ஆப்பிரிக்காவில் வந்து தமிழ் பாட்டெலாம் ரொம்ப ஃபேமஸாக சொல்லியிருக்காங்க நானும் கேள்விப்பட்டிருக்கேன் குறிப்பாக முருகன் பாடல்கள்லாம் அவர் கேசட்டி எனக்கு பாடி கட்டினார் கந்தன் தீரு நீர் அணிந்தால் ஸோ அந்த பாடல்லாம் எனக்கு இப்போ கூட அவங்க பாடுற மாதிரி அந்த ஒரு ஒலி எனக்கு இருக்கு கேட்டிருக்க மாதிரி இருக்கு அவர் இழப்பு ஒரு பெரிய இழப்பு அவர் ஆன்மா சாந்தி அடையணும் ஆனால் ஒரு விஷயம் நான் சொல்கிறேன் இங்கே சென்னையிலேருந்து தமிழ்நாட்டிலேருந்து சிங்கர் சுசீலாமா டிஎம்எஸ் சார் எல்லாருமே பெரிய பிரபலங்கள் எல்லாம் வந்து அவங்க அவர் கையில் அவங்க வீட்டுக்கு போகிறது அவங்க அவர் கையில் பழகிறது எல்லாம் சொல்லுவார் அவர் எல்லோரும் போயிருக்காங்க எம்எஸ் விஸ்வநாதன் இறவு இறந்தபோது கூட சங்கரா என்னை சங்கரான்னு தான் கூப்பிடுவார் கூப்பிட்டு இது மாதிரி அவங்களுக்கு மாலை வாங்கி போட்டுருங்க இதை செய்யுங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவார் அதெல்லாம் நினைக்கும் போது மனசு ரொம்ப நெகிழ்வாக இருக்குது அவர் ஆன்மா சாந்தி அடணும் அம்மாவும் இறந்துட்டாங்கன்ற போது அதுவும் ஒரு மனசு கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு அந்த குடும்பத்துக்கு என்னுடைய ஆழ்ந்த இரங்கலை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் எல்லோரும் நல்லா இருக்கணும் வணக்கம் Dear family and friends, our next tribute comes from the keyboard player of the TMS P. Sushila South African tour, which dad played an instrumental in bringing them over. 
This is none other than Satish, the keyboard player. Vanakkam, na India will learn the Satish keyboard player is a my palette piece. Ayrathi tolayrathi tunnu teera mande ayya TMS Sushila ma aur load thiru Joshwarajan aur gali shuk isai kuru load na vande South Africa Durban ko vando. Apatha mudal mudraya na vande anna vela kitchen na sandhichhe. ஒரு பத்து ப்ரோக்ராம் நாங்கள் அங்கே சவுத் ஆஃப்ரிக்காவில் பண்ணோம் அந்த பத்து நிகழ்ச்சிகளும் அண்ணன் எங்கள் கூட ட்ராவல் பண்ண நாட்கள் அந்த நாட்கள்லாம் மறக்க முடியாது கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு மாதம் அண்ணா வேலா கிருஷ்ணன் அண்ணா வீட்டில் தான் நாங்கள் தங்கி எங்களை வந்து எந்த அளவுக்கு சந்தோஷப்படுத்த முடியுமோ அந்த ஒரு ஒரு மகம் போல் எங்களை பார்த்துக்கிட்டாரு அந்த நன்றியை எப்போவுமே நாங்கள் மறக்க மாட்டோம் ஒரு அவர் வந்து நம்மளை விட்டு பிரிஞ்சது வந்து பெரிய ஒரு இழப்பு மறக்க முடியாதது அவரை சில சில நாங்கள் சவுத் ஆஃப்ரிக்கா வந்து எங்களுக்கு வந்து அவர் செய்த சில உதவிகள் அவர் எங்களை வந்து கவனிச்சுக்கிட்ட விஷயங்கள் எல்லாமே வந்து ரொம்ப மறக்க முடியாத ஒரு நிகழ்ச்சி அவர் இன்றைக்கி வந்து நம்மக்கிட்ட இல்லை அவருடைய ஆன்மா சாந்தி அடையணும் அவங்க குடும்பத்திற்கு என்னுடைய ஆழ்ந்த இரங்கலை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் அவர் ஆன்மா சாந்தி அடையணும் அவரை வந்து ஈடு செய்ய முடியாது யாராலேயும் அதனால் அவருடைய ஆன்மா சாந்தி அடையணும் நன்றி வணக்கம் During the musical tours, Mr. Vela Kisten had formed a relationship in every town, every village, and every corner of the country. One such place was Peter Maritzburg, where he developed a very close relationship with a young man called Brian. Brian became more than a family friend. He became family as he began to frequently visit. And he pays tribute to my dear best friend, Vela Kisten. Vela and I shared a friendship for over 30 years. And although I live all the way in Peter Maritzburg, we shared a special bond over the years, always looked forward to attending his shows, and my family and I have always been and will always be huge fans of the Lakshmi Star's music. In the recent years, we saw each other just a few times, but we spoke often on the phone. He always cared so much for my family and I am absolutely heartbroken that my friend is no more. But I know that he has reunited with his wife up in heaven. I last saw the two of them about a month ago when I visited and I cannot believe that I am now attending his farewell. Go well, rest in eternal peace, my dear friend. Although you may be gone to be with your maker, your music and memory lives on from Brian, Mari and family of Peter Maritzburg. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to another song item. One of the dreams my dad had and spoke of it often and he made a public declaration of it. He said, the Tamil people must have their own radio and TV station. And just recently, that Tamil radio station has given birth. They call themselves Southside FM, and they broadcast on the frequency of 107.2 FM. From Southside FM comes a very renowned nightingale, a singer whom probably was very young when dad started singing, but she was equally influenced by the indelible mark that he has left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great joy to hand it over the microphone to Vijay Lakshmi Balakrishna, who will now render the next song item. எல்லோருக்கும் என் உள்ளம் கணந்த வணக்கம் அந்திரிக்கி நான் பிரேம நமஸ்காரமளோ 
the South African Indian Music Fraternity mourns the loss of our dear Uncle Vela Kisten, who had shared a mutual respect with my late father, R. Balakrishna. On behalf of the Andhra community, I offer our deepest condolences to the Kisten family. Oh 
special thank you to Vijay Lakshmi Balakrishna from Southside FM, Nandri. We have a special message that comes from the Ramakrishna Center of South Africa to Mr. Ashley Kiston. We are saddened to hear of the passing away of our beloved father, Mr. Vela Kiston, and our dear mother, Mrs. Dano Kiston. On behalf of our president, revered Swami, and the officials of the center, I convey to you and the members of your family our deepest sympathies. Mr. Vela Kiston's musical talent and his contribution to the Indian music industry in South Africa for more than 50 years has left an indelible impression in the minds of the community and he will be missed by us all. At this time, we join you all in prayers for the peace of the departed souls. May God grant you and your family the strength to deal with the great loss of both your parents. With kind regards, Mrs. S. Nirmal. Dear family and friends, over the years on his journey, on his musical journey, my father had formed a team of young men and women that continued to assist him in his musical journey. One such man that he got really connected with. Although I am an MC and a compeer, but my dad would often say, there is no other than Mr. Jaga Pillay. And he constantly had deep respect for this man. And over the years, they had formed a bond and a relationship that became inseparable. Uncle Jaga Pillay was fortunate, fortunate enough to visit dad in these last days. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I call upon Mr. Jaga Pele, who will now come and say a few words. He was Dad's program director, MC, and compeer, and the only stand-up comedian that could ever make him laugh. One who had clean cut jokes. And Dad had deep respect and humility for him. Anbin Varil Yarnar Ndalam Avanam Ramanam Mundru He who walks in the pathway of love Him and God are one Nobody can take away your pain So don't let anyone take away your happiness that was the message from God to Vela after the passing away of his lifelong soulmate, his dear wife, just a week ago. The Vela Kisten I know, or I knew, I'm going to talk about that. I first met him in 1980, not on this stage, but the hall next door, Emperor Temple Hall. I didn't know who Vela was, but I was the MC and I was given a program on the song to be sung by Vela Kisten. Like I do with any artist, I did my duty in introducing Vela Kisten to the local community who knew him far better than I did. From that date on, till his passing away, we've been well connected, as you heard from Marlon. 
In 1980, there was a group called Cream. Cream consisted of musicians from four different bands. Santana Eastern, Eastern Sentimentals, Kalevani Orchestra, and Lakshmi Entertainers. So Vela Kisten came from Lakshmi Entertainers. At that time, a Kacheri group with harmonium, tabla, and probably is symbols. Then in 1981, I received a request from the late Jackson governor to do a compere's work in launching an album at the Sol Namara Hotel in Silver Glen. And the album was Unnaver Udibam. And at the launch, praise was given to all the musicians that were featured on that album by the late Jackson's dad. Then in 1982, I was called again by Jackson to compare a show, and that is just over 40 years ago, in Chatsworth by Lakshmi's entertainers. It was on a Saturday night and it was a full house. And immediately at, towards the end of the show, I had to announce to the audience that we're going to have a, a series of shows from Monday till the following Sunday. First time ever in the history of this country that a local South Indian band playing South Indian music have been booked to play for one full week and every night was a full house with people being turned away. Hence, Lakshmi Entertainers, Annevarudibam, and Padugiren became almost like the anthem of the people of Chatsworth. Not only there, but also Mount Hitchcomb, through Vela, I had the privilege of doing quite a number of shows here in Mount Hitchcomb, getting to know some of the local guys here in Mount Hitchcomb. In 1982, my cousin came down from Trinidad, West Indies. And the moment Vela heard that, Vala was excited to meet my cousin. We arranged a welcome party and the Kisten brothers, together with the late Bhima Naidu and Chin Naidu, were present there to render songs like what we're hearing tonight, uh, today. My cousin then took with him the album Annevarudibam to play in Trinidad to our relatives there, the Armogams and the radio stations. Incidentally, in 2010, when I visited there, they had seven radio stations, all playing Indian music, but not one Tamil or Telugu song, all were Hindi. With Padu, with Annevarudibam uh, uh, being the first album to reach that country, in 2010 I took a few more CDs and went. And people literally teared hearing Tamil songs.
1986, by the way, prior to that, with Lakshmi Entertainers, I was privileged to travel with them. The length and breadth of KZN, starting from Richards Bay, going right up to Albusville, that is in Port Shepston, and also Newcastle out towards the northern Natal. Also, Gauteng, Lakshmi Entertainers. But then, in 1986, well, I approached two people. My late dear friend, Shabir Khan from Azam Khan, and I. And he told us what was on his mind, that he wanted to start a new band. And we promised him we will give him all the support that we can to make it happen. And on Christmas Eve, 1986, Lakshmi Stars was born here at the Emperor Mal Hall in Mount Hitchcock. Lakshmi Stars from there never looked back. They've been riding the crest of the waves. As someone said the other day, Lakshmi Stars is the only existing band that's playing South Indian music, which is a fact. I feel very guilty having come to see Vela and his dear wife in their last days of their life in our land. Because as I asked Vela, how is mommy? She walked in from the kitchen, greeted me, and she always would speak more in Tamil to me than in English. And she offered me tea and I refused. I said no because I'm fighting for time. I have to go to a temple. And after hearing of her passing away, I felt guilty that I refused that cup of tea. Vela wasn't, as I heard, wasn't somebody that worried about himself. In Campbellstown, if there was a funeral in anyone's home, the first house that would get the message of somebody that has just passed on will be Vela's home. On so many occasions, I witnessed Vela coming from work, coming to a funeral, but he will make sure that he take, picks up that spade and put sand into the grave to help. He was a man who never knew the word from English literature, the word no. I don't think he ever understood that word because I don't know of any when I went to him. I'm going to give you one incident. When you looked at Vala, he was full of piousness. Never raised a finger at anyone, never spoken a harsh word. If he spoke, he would speak softly and you can hear him. One night we were doing a out 
in the township and it was under a very huge marquee about 15 guys armed with pangas bush knife and one with a gun came to attack our sound man i announced for an item and vela called for me whilst the song was on vela and i went out we stood both of us between those guys calming them down and they were asking us to keep out of the way but we still stood our ground and we pleaded with those guys to let us do what we came to do to raise funds to build the temple so he was a very brave person too It is very, very sad when we happen to lose two dearly loving people in a space of one week. But words of comfort have been coming from all parts of our country and abroad. to the children vela's words ah uh, god came he called my name he held my hand and took me to a land where there's no more pain as i came and parked my car to get off so many people were streaming out still so many people were coming in some of you are seated here from before 10 o'clock you have come here for one reason and that one reason is a four letter word called love that love between you and vela whichever way he touched you and between him and you the way you reciprocated is evidence in your presence here today and i want to say for that love you have sacrificed your time time is too slow for those who wait too swift for those who fear too long for those who grieve and too short for those who rejoice but for those who love time is everlasting time is eternity i want to thank god for giving us this wonderful soul vela kisten nandri special thank you to mr jaga pele for being that kind and loving person that he is towards dad and for that special relationship that they shared as i mentioned earlier on ladies and gentlemen that many people were influenced by my dad's performances one such singer is none other than edward reddy of verlum who is now settled for many years in kauteng and he pays tribute says vanakam it is with a heavy heart 
and you will hear Edward's song playing on the background. Vanakkam, it is with a heavy and a sad heart that I bid farewell to a maestro and a legend, Mr. Vela Kisten. Mr. Kisten has been one of my role models and icons for many years. I have been following the Lakshmi entertainers and Lakshmi stars from my teenage days and never missed any of the shows when I was residing in KwaZulu Natal. He was certainly an inspiration to me, my family, and to many artists in this country. The striking aspect of this great soul was his humbleness and melodious voice. Every single song of his, be it own composition or cover version, was a super hit over the years without a doubt. He commanded a great deal of respect and admiration both locally and internationally. I had the honor and privilege of sharing the stage with this great legend during my first CD launch at the Lakshmi Theater in Verlam many years ago. This is when I started my musical career. I do recall him singing Malar Gale Paul Thange that night and he certainly had the audience spellbound with that melodious voice. Although I loved every single song of his, my favorite though was Nenjal Waruragam. And there was something about this song that captivated and inspired me to an extent that I will always render this song at all of my devotional programs. We have certainly lost a great singer, but his songs will certainly live in our hearts for many years to come. I would like to take this opportunity of offering my deepest condolences to Ashley Mary Marlin and the rest of the family. May Namashivaya grant them all the strength during these difficult and trying times. Rest in peace, Anna Vela Kisten, until we meet again. And I pray tribute and conclude with this song that I hold very close to my heart, Nenjal Vururagam, originally sung by the maestro, Mr. Vela Kisten. Ladies and gentlemen, with that note, I bring on the next singer, who is none other than my father's youngest brother, Gopal Kisten. If you didn't know, many years ago, before 1981, when the song Party Gerein was launched, Gopal worked in Gauteng in the earlier years. And in missing my father so much so, that he penned the song, Padi Giren Anna Yengeni. It was during this time that he had written this number one hit song. And he phoned dad and he said, Anna, I wrote this song for you. Many of them tried to sing the song during the recording trial. And of course, walking into the studio last was my father, Mr. Vela Kisten. And he looked at the lyrics and at one shot singing the song, Everybody agreed, Anna, the song is meant for you. It is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hand over the microphone to Gopal Kisten, who's going to sing one of his most recent songs that he released as a pre-release to Mother's Day, Yene Pete Deva Day, which is so apt, the lyrics apply so much to my dad this day. Over to Mr. Gopal Kisten. All praises to God. Yeah. 
என்ன பத்து தேவதையே துணைக்கு வருவாயா என்ன பத்து தேவதையே துணைக்கு வருவாயா பிச்சைக்காரு நானி சோறு போடு யாரு ஆழமாறும் வீடு துணைக்கு வருவாயா பௌர்ணமி வெளிச்சத்தில் மடியில் சாயவா அம்மா குரலை கேட்க தவிக்கின்றேனே தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் அம்மா குரலை கேட்க தவிக்கின்றேனே தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் பார்த்ததில்லை தந்தை பேர் தெரியவில்லை சொந்தம் சொல்ல யாரு எனக்கு இல்லை உன்முகம் பார்த்ததில்லை தந்தை பேர் தெரியவில்லை சொந்தம் சொல்ல யாரு எனக்கு இல்லை நான் அழுது நான் அழுது எங்கை தேடுவேன் ஆழமரும் போலே மழையும் இங்கே என்ன பெத்த தேவதையே துணைக்கு வருவாயா பிச்சை கருணானே சோறு போடு யாரு பாசம் எரிந்து வேதனைக்கு கண்ணி துணைதானே உறவு தொலைந்து தாய் பாசம் எரிந்து வேதனைக்கு கண்ணி துணைதானே நான் சிரித்தால் நான் சிரித்தால் உலகம் மாறுமா மகனுக்கு வழி சொல்லையா என்ன பெத்த தேவதையே துணைக்கு வருவாயா பிச்சை கருணானே சோறு போடு யாரு ஆழமாறும் வீடு துணைக்கு வருவாயா பௌர்ணமி வெளிச்சத்தில் மடியில் சாயவா அம்மா குரலை கேட்க தவிக்கின்று கேட்கணும் அம்மா குரலை கேட்க தவிக்கின்று நே தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் தாலாட்டு பாட்டு கேட்கணும் Thank you, Gopal Daniel Kisten with his most uh, recent release that was recorded by Deshan Styler Naidu. Whenever Dad traveled to Kauteng, the families that got connected with him never allowed him to stay at a hotel or any bed and breakfast. One such family was the Munsami family 
in Kauteng. And here is a special message that comes from Mr. Manny Munsami and his family. I extend our heartfelt condolences to the Kistan family on their monumental loss, losing both parents within a fortnight. Vela was a lifelong friend that I knew for over 30 years. Vela was a close and personal friend, a mentor, an esteemed tutor. The warmth and kindness that he generated will serve as a constant reminder of the great qualities of an era that has come to an end. The bonds of friendship that we established and nurtured and grew without end and endured the test of time. Vela and I remained in constant contact throughout our close relationship, maintaining communications on a weekly basis. On his numerous visits to Kauteng, my home was his second abode. We talked and exchanged views and ideas late into the early mornings. I can still remember his crisp voice as he parted ongoing ideas and advice at many levels of our conversation. Vela taught me the importance of always looking for the best in people. And I always remember that I am still reeling from his death. But I am humbled and touched by the qualitative time we spend together. Beloved Vela was a caring friend. He never turned down the chance to meet new people and exchange ideas and views. His positivity was an inspiration for everyone that he met. As we gather today, we remember friends who have left our earthly shores. The death of Vela has left our world turned upside down. His death will make a lifelong impact on all those who cherished his nearness and his sincerity. In my countless interactions with him, Vela ignited a passion with the simple acts of courage and extreme generosity. Even in death, his memory still inspires me today. On a personal level, we'll miss Vela terribly. He changed the dynamic wherever he was with his tremendous sense of warmth and intelligence. He was simply incomparable. Vela was one of those of whom it can be truly said that he made the world a better place for many of us who were lucky enough to know him and countless blessings who have benefited from his works. I mourn him greatly. He was a family friend who combined incredible achievements with great personal grace. I will always remember how he overwhelmed me with his numerous contributions, his dignity, grace, respect, and charm. Through my long and memorable friendship with him, he inspired and part of my values. His positive contribution to my life as a friend and mentor will be embedded in my collective memory. A person of his caliber and dedication will most probably never be seen in our lifetime. Those who knew Vela and were associated with him will remember and honor him as a loving father, a music legend, and a superb humanitarian. On behalf of the Munsami family, we share with Marlon, Ashley, Mary, and the grandchildren their profound sense of grief and sorrow at this hour of grief. We hope that you can find comfort in their memories and celebration of their lives as a testament to your strength and courage. You are in our prayers. I remember Vela as a symbol of individual excellence, as a patriot whose contributions to humanity will never be matched in our lifetime. Farewell, my beloved friend. In our journey to eternity, may your profound soul rest in peace. That comes to you with lots of love from many Munsami and family. As I mentioned, Dad connected with not only individuals on the ground, but he connected with various bands in different parts of the country. As we first made our trip to Benoni in Kauteng, one of the bands that he connected with was the Sounds of Sidambaram. To the Kistan family and the members of Lakshmi Stars, it is with great sadness that we have learned the death of a true legend, Vela Kistan, a musician, a great leader of times, who has greatly influenced the music scene in South Africa, 
beyond and across all generations. Let us all join in celebrating the life of a legend whose music has cut across generations, inspiring, entertaining, educating the community through his secular and devotional songs and film hits. We are truly honored sharing the stage with this legend and his band with all the support and encouragement that he provided. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. We all shall miss his voice and sight, but never from our hearts as we listen to his never ending inspiring music. We send our deepest condolences to the family and friends and the music fraternity and to his fans upon the time of bereavement. And may the Almighty bring the much needed peace and grace and comfort during this time of our loss. We pray for his soul to attain moksha. Yours in music, Sandra Naidu, band manager of the Sounds of Sidambaram from Kauteng. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't viewed the face yet, we are nearing the end. We will leave here at 1.30 sharp. I welcome you to please come view the face. Please restrict your engagement with the family. Um, no hugging, no kissing. You're more than welcome to come as I hand over the microphone to another brilliant musician and singer, Sivanathan Pillay. Special attention to Tansen Nepal. Tansen Nepal, will you please come forward? Thank you.
சிவன் கோயில் சூடாத கார்கள் சிவன் கோயில் சூடாத கார்கள் கார்கள் சிவரூப காணாத கண்கள் கண்கள் சிவன் கோயில் சூடாத கார்கள் கார்கள் சிவரூப காணாத கண்கள் கண்கள் சிவன் கோவில் சூடாத கார்கள் கார்கள் சிவநாமம் தூதியாத நெல்ஜே நெல்ஜே சிவன் உருவை தோழ கைகள் கைகள் சிவன் உருவை தோழாத கைகள் கைகள் சிவன் கோவில் சூடாத கார்கள் கார்கள் சிவரூபம் காணாத Sivanathan Pillai ladies and gentlemen dear family and friends we've been inundated with the messages that have come forward forgive me if i rush through them as we are um short on time one of the organization that dad had connected with in raising funds and he gave his time selflessly to was the phoenix child and family welfare society Humble greetings the management and staff of Phoenix Child Welfare were deeply saddened by the news of the demise of dear father Vela Kiston. We express our profound sympathies condolences to you and your family for this great loss. We offer our prayers for the attainment of supreme peace and blissful uh, and bliss to the departed soul. We send you thoughts of comfort through this difficult time. It has been said love is stronger than death. 
even though it cannot stop death from happening. But no matter how hard the death tries, it cannot separate people from love. It can take away our memories. The only thing you ever really keep are the people and memories you hold in your heart. We pray that the love of God enfolds you during your journey through grief and that he helps you heal with the passage of time. May the divine light of God's love guide his beautiful soul. This comes to us with Ms. Arjuna Chetty, Phoenix Child Welfare. Sabre Satandam Sangam. Humble greetings and vanakam, the Swami officials and members of the Seva Satanda Sangam are deeply saddened by the news of the demise of a very dear and a loving soul, Tiruvela Kistan. Our hearts go out to you during this trying time. May our prayers serve as a comfort to you and your loved ones. We express our profound sympathies and condolences to the family on the loss of this beautiful, humble soul. He has indeed a true legend and icon of the music industry. He will also be remembered for his various philanthropic endeavors in the community. He was instrumental in keeping the culture and music of the South Indians alive and flourishing in South Africa. His legacy will live on in each and every person that he has touched through music. There is no death only a beautiful transition from one state of life to another. No beginnings or endings, just an extraordinary journey and progression of the soul. As the consciousness perpetually develops, grows and refine. Those we love can never be more than a thought away. For as long as there is a memory, they are in our hearts to stay. May the divine light of God's love guide his soul to the lotus feet of Lord Shiva. On behalf of the spiritual head, the president, and the executive memory committee, I express our profound sympathies and condolences to the bereaved families on the loss of this beautiful soul. We offer our prayers for the attainment of supreme peace and bliss to the departed soul. Nandri Vanakam, yours in service, Cheryl Vayapuri. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is a revered priest and progadir whom dad had immense respect for. I would like to welcome him to the microphone to come and say a few words. Progadir Guru Kriba Vayapuri. மிக துக்கத்தில் இருக்கின்ற மரணமடைந்து காலம் சென்று பெரியார் தமிழ் பந்திகர் இந்திசை ராஜா வேலா கிருஷ்ணனுடைய குணத்தினருக்கு ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ரிலேட்டிவ்ஸ் வெல் விஷஸ் ஃபேன்ஸ் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டல்மன் டுடே இஸ் இன் டீட் ஐ சேட் டே ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் பட் ஐ திங்க் டுடே இஸ் இன் டீட் அ டே his life should be celebrated we should be celebrating the life of one of the greatest tamil sons of south african soil the iconic the inimitable the doyen of tamil music the legendary vela kristen ladies and gentlemen is no more a man whose name is indelibly etched in the minds and hearts of almost every south african of indian descent in fact the entire tamil diaspora living here in on south african soil mourns the death of one of the greatest legends that ever was born to this soil anugrahe maranathai evararam thadaikka mudiyadu nangal ellorkum indha vali we as human beings we do not have the capacity to thwart the hand of death but here today from their midst and from our midst four days apart from each other this is really and truly a validation ladies and gentlemen that marriages are made in heaven thirumanam enbadu alagam uyarvam sirappam deiva tanmayam adangiya oru nalla nigachi soulmates in the true sense of the word and amma 
Dana was undoubtedly a, a, a woman of repute. What set her apart from others is the fact that she was a mother par excellence, a wife who was imbued with the greatest amount of respect. Our brother, our Anna, Bela Kirsten, and his good wife, Dano, they actually doted on each other. And although our Akka Dano was sick for the last two years and was even on dialysis, you'll notice two days in the week, but she would still prepare everything, the food and all for Vela, and dote on him. And they both were inseparable. And that is why Marnam visited both of them in a matter of four days apart. The mother, we say, Annayam Pidavam Mun Arinda Devam. Your mother and your father are your first perceived gods. The mother and the father are the pivots around which the entire support system of the family revolves, ladies and gentlemen. When we look at the life and times of Vela, you cannot help but remember him for his tremendous respect. And even that first album release, Anne Urudibam, Mother is a light. So the mother figure was pivotal in his life. The mother in the form of Dano, even the mother in the form of his late, late mother, Esther, they all formed an important aspect of his life. And music filled the scene. He was a torchbearer for Tamil culture, Tamil Kalacharam. He was indeed a real beacon of hope for the beautiful Tamil language on the South African shores. Nam Tamil Murik. For that language, he did tremendous. And he was an ambassador of repute for Tamil pride. We say Tamil Perume. And when one looks at Deva, Vela and the way he sang beautiful go hymns in praise of divinity, even all other songs that he sang, he sang it with so much of passion, ladies and gentlemen. Passion for the Tamil language. And it reminds one of Subramani Bharidiyar, who once said, Yam arinda murigarile Tamil muriyai pol ini vudhavadi yangam kaanam. And Vela and his family, they revered this language and the lyrics that they composed and the songs that they sang in this great, great language reminds one of even that student of Bharadiyar who was Bharati Dasan who once said, Tamil yandra solada thalai nimarindu nilada. Be proud to say that I am a Tamil. And Vela has actually contributed to the propagation of, that, of this language which is regarded as mankind's oldest spoken language on the globe. He has actually contributed to its propagation here on these shores. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as we sit here today, each and every one of us will be reflecting nostalgically on our association with this great, great man. And we will also be reflecting fondly on our association with him. But ladies and gentlemen, I think most definitely the lyrics of Padagirian will be ringing in many of your ears. And when Vela took Chatsworth by storm with that beautiful song, Padagirian, in veneration of the brother in the family, almost every person living in that township of Chatsworth began to rekindle and revitalize and regenerate their interest in the Tamil language and in Tamil music. That song could be heard being played in almost every home, in every unit in Chatsworth. Our genial Vela, ladies and gentlemen, the genial Vela being called on stage to sing, I'm sure you'll be reminiscing on that. You'll also be reflecting in your mind's eye. You'll be able to see Vela being called on stage to sing with the band members of Lachmi Stars, forming the backdrop of that glittering stage. And then you'll see there a man, ladies and gentlemen, a man who walks onto that stage. A man not defined by the glitz and glamour and the dazzling lights on the stage. A man definitely not defined by the thunderous applause that usually accompanies his appearance on the stage. A man that is not defined by the fame and the glory that accompanied his musical genius. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you'll find there a man amongst men, a prince amongst men, a humble, 
soul, a truly humble soul who never ever bust in the glory of his achievements. You know, there are many people, they say mediocrity knows nothing higher than itself, but genius will always recognize talent. And this we found in our gentle giant Vela Christian. He was able to recognize the talent in every other person and he nurtured their talents in terms of music. Not only his children, they stand as testimony. When we look at the very, very erudite Marlon speaking the way he does, and even Ashley and Mary, their contribution to the South African music scene, ladies and gentlemen, is immense. Today, we can only remember with pride that we were able to produce one of the greatest musicians, a man who rubbed shoulders and shared the stage with some of the greatest musical personalities of international repute. But still, his humility, ladies and gentlemen, was what set him apart from everybody else. You know, they say the ego gets and the ego forgets. But Vela was a man of love. Wherever I spoke, whether I finished off at 11 or 12 at any function, Vela will make that call to find out if I arrived, arrived home safely. And his regular calls, whether once or twice a month, just to find out about our, my well-being, speaks volumes about this man and his love. Love is gentle, love is kind, love gives and love always forgives. Unlike the ego which gets and the ego even forgets where it got from. The presence of this great man will be felt even in his absence. The presence of this great soul will be felt even greater in his absence. Anburale Pratane. If you could join, close your eyes and join me in a prayer for the soul of our beloved Bella Kristen. Om Mudagal Yellam Muradan Udat Kangari Evan Nila Ulavi and Armani Venian Alagal Jodi Evan Umbalatil Aduan Malar Shilam Bugari Varti Vanangumam Um Manadi Budu Mudivinading and Dumni. Marinan Ginadi Mudi Yamni, Madi Yamni Ravi Yamni Buna Lamni, Nana Lamni Mandalam Mirende Lamni, Bunamni Buru Lamni, Rulamni Uli Yamni Bodikavan, the Guru Vayamni, in the Pugaran Nagrangal one Badavamni, in the Puvanangal Petra Vanamni, Yenadi Yajiva Hodi Galapani, Yangalude Yakuregal, Nangal Yarakatan, Kurepomi Sene, Sivakami Nesene. நாங்கள் மிகவும் துக்கப்படுகின்றோம் அனுதாபு படுகின்றோம் அவ் உயர் இந்த கலியுகத்தில் இருந்து மண் உலகத்தில் வாழும் காலத்தில் அறிந்த அறியாமலும் தெரிந்தும் தெரியாமலும் செய்த பாவங்களை மன்னித்து அவ் ஆத்மாவுக்கு நத்கதியம் சாந்தியம் அருள்வடி பிரார்த்தனை செய்கின்றோம் தேவாதி தேவனே தங்கள் திருவடிகளுக்கு பன்முறை வந்தனம் 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 the wounds of death of this great man will be hard to heal ladies and gentlemen but the memories that he has left behind, nobody will be able to steal that from each and every one of us. Nandi. Guru Kriba, Payapuri Avar Gulakkam, Migavam, Mikka, Mikka Nandri. Ladies and gentlemen, here is another message that comes from Ned Pillay, a fellow musician and singer whom Dad had inspired all the way from Kauteng. Vanakkam, on behalf of all the musicians, vocalists and fans of Uncle Vela Kisten in Kauteng, we are saddened by the news and the loss of Mr. Vela Kisten. Uncle Vela and the Lakshmi stars, when having a concert in any of the regions in Kauteng, always displayed his humbleness to all that attended the concerts. He was always willing to take a photo with you. Uncle Vela was always caring musician with respect for young and old people. 
He would be fondly remembered for launching the song Paadi Giren in Actonville, Benoni in 1983. This song sung by Mr. Vela Kisten is deeply placed in all the minds and hearts of musicians, vocalists, and music fans in Kauteng. To Marlon Mary Ashley, we say, you lost a exceptionally humble father, whilst the music fraternity lost of a great legend. Our prayers are with you during the time of your bereavement. May Uncle Vela Kisten rest in peace. Lots of love, Ned Pillay. Gauteng. Ladies and gentlemen, this message comes to you from the president of the Tamil Federation of KZN, Mr. Richard Govender. On behalf of our trustees, Exco Management Committee, the Women's Forum, affiliated organizations of the Tamil Federation of KZN, I extend, the Fed, I extend the Federation's heartfelt condolences to our dear brothers, Ashley, Marlon, Sister Mary, and their spouses, children, grandchildren, and the members of the Kiston family on the sad passing away of a gentle giant, the legendary Vela Kiston. Barely a week had passed us when our dear father, Mr. Vela Kiston, Ashley, Marlon, Sister Mary, and the Kiston family had to bid farewell to our beloved mother, Mrs. Dano Kiston. Today, members of the Kiston family, friends, fans, and the community across the globe, and South Africa in particular, are mourning the loss of our dear father, grandfather, and founding father of the Lakshmi Stars. Apavela Kiston's passing away will not only leave a great void in the midst of the Kiston family and the Lakshmi stars, but to thousands of his fans worldwide. Although recognized as one of the greatest music maestros of all times, singing in front of thousands, if not millions of people, he did so with absolute humility and passion. While we mourn his loss, we cherish the wonderful memories left behind. We seek comfort in knowing that his legacy will live on through the iconic institution of the ever-popular Lakshmi stars. Apavela and Amodana Kisten has lived a life well-lived, leaving behind generations of music maestros in the Kisten family. Our collective prayer is for Supreme Siva Peruman to grant Ashley, Marlon, Mary and the Kisten family and all present the strength fortitude to bear this tremendous loss. Lots of love, Richard Govender, President of Tamil Federation of KZN. I hand over the microphone to another singer, a young girl who is a budding artist of recent times, and she has equally been inspired by my dad, Vela Kisten, Yovani Naidu. If you haven't viewed the faces yet, I welcome you to please come. Um, this would probably be the final viewing as we are coming close to 1.30 when we must leave. Panakam and my warm greetings to everyone. To Guru Ashley, Auntie Mary and Uncle Marlon and to the Kiston family, my heartfelt condolences to you to have performed on the same stage as the music legend, Upper Vala Kiston, someone who I admired simply because of his simplicity and humbleness. What an honor. I will forever treasure those performances and I know his golden voice will forever remain in our hearts. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Nagindra Haraya Trila Chalaya Basmagaragaya Maishwaraya 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 Nagindra Haraya
Thank you, dear family and friends. Yovani Naidu. From the Phoenix Tamil Prathane Karagam comes this message. Vanakam Namaste Namaskaram. It is with utmost respect that we pass our sincere condolences to the Kistan family on the passing of their beloved mum and dad. As we gather to pay our last respects to the great music legend, their dad, Mr. Vela Kistan, we sincerely pray that God grants the family strength, courage to face the days ahead. The passing away of Mr. Kiston is a great loss to our community at large. We will forever be indebted to him for his enormous contribution towards the promotion, propagation of our culture and religion. Rest well, sir. Your legacy will live on forever. Thank you for enriching our lives with a beautiful music and a great life lessons. With much love and respect from Guru Venkatesan, Kaliya Perumal, members and officials of the Phoenix Tamir Prathane Karagam. Ladies and gentlemen, on the speakers, you're going to hear an audio message that comes to you from Chris Naika in the Zululand North Coast area. Chris Naika was playing, he played instrument with dad in organizing all of the shows and the promotions on the North Coast. They have a band of men together whom they call the Friday Night Boys. And you could imagine what their Friday nights was with the national anthem of Padigre and playing at their boot parties. Nevertheless, they were a serious young group of men that propagated the Tamil music and culture. Here is the voice of Chris Naika from Zululand. This is indeed a very trying time. And like I said last week in my tribute to our dear mum, this is a phenomenon of life and we have to come to terms with this. In order to honor this great person, we must celebrate the memories and in this way, his spirit will forever remain with us. Vela Kisten, together with his team of musicians, took up the challenge some 50 years ago to bring South Indian music to the Indian community in a country faced with much diversity in culture. The perseverance of Mr. Vela Kisten and the support of his family, who still play a part in the team, have contributed to making this man an institution in South Africa. The Indian community, north of the Tugela River, have been starved and deprived of their rich culture, but this was made a reality by Mr. Vela Kisten. The name Vela Kisten in the Zululand area is held in high esteem and is well respected. The crowds at the many shows held in the area speaks volumes of this icon of South Indian music. We in Zululand have been blessed with sweet melody and devotional hits of South India. At any function, be it a wedding, birthday, I stayed fit, karaoke, or even your casual boot party, one would hear the melodious Padigiren. We in Zululand have been blessed in that Mr. Vela Kisten and his team, together with his wife, have performed at weddings, ceremonies, and shows for our people. The highlight was the grand opening of the Mother's Temple in Ampengeni, where both he and his wife were our chief guests and the Lakshmi stars entertained the devotees with soulful South Indian music. Vela Kisten had a unique way of keeping his relationships with people and the way he chose to address people. The Friday night boys of Ampengeni shared a very sacred bond with him. And sadly, our CEO, Mr. Morgan Chetty, who was instrumental in us forming this relationship, is no more with us. Perhaps you too will find each other and carry this relationship further. He would fondly address me as Singh and not by my name. And during the onset of COVID, I received this SMS on 8th May 2020, which read, Hello Singh, I trust you and the family are well. Take care and be safe, Vela. If the whole of India regarded the late Lata Mangeshkar as Mother Saraswati, 
then our Vela Kisten is Lord Shiva. To Marlon, Mary, Ashley, and the rest of the family, we pray that Swami will grant you strength and fortitude during this time. To remember this giant and that cliff voice, I want to play out a line from one of his favorite devotional hits. Go well, our dear dad, until we meet on the other side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was from the Friday Night Boys. Of all the troops that graced the shores of Durban from India, Dad had got connected with a music director of note. He's a young man that is unknown to the industry, but well known to us, the Kistan family. He is none other than Suresh Babu of Chennai, India. Songwriter, singer, guitarist, and a marvelous music director. On hearing the passing of our dear dad, he was inspired to go into the studio and to write a song and to record it in memory of our dear dad, Appa Vela Kistan. Here is a song that has been recorded by Suresh Babu of Chennai, India. It is amazing how he has captured the theme of Padi Giren into that song and how he has captured mom and dad into that song. So take a listen to this one that is going to play over the speakers. Suresh Babu. Ladies and gentlemen, 
while that song plays in the background our next speaker is none other than Kanta Dharmalingam who represents the Tamil Eisteddfod movement for Lower North Coast region I assure you she is going to be brief as we are pressed on time thank you Vanakkam the Lower North Coast Region I State Fit Movement extends its heartfelt condolences to the Keston family on the loss of their mum and dad. Tamil Padagal Padar Tandayan Maruvam Nan Ane Varukkum Vedanayal Are Tuladu The passing away of our Tamil singing father pains us all. The late Vela Keston has no doubt left a huge void amongst us all. A soft-spoken individual that respected both young and old, a trait that must be considered as God's gifts to him. His interest in the uh, Stetford and his support in many ways was something that us as a region valued and appreciated. We will miss that. He was an inspiration to all that got to know him and, was, and always encouraged people that loved music. A small man in stature, however, a, great, a huge man in humanity. A humble soul that touched many lives, not just with his golden voice, but also his quiet presence. Our dad, Vela Keston, will not be forgotten as he will continue to live amongst us in his music. And the Lakshmi stars will continue in his legacies of great homegrown music. Thank you for gracing us with your presence, Aya. Go well and be with your life partner and inseparable couple. I also bring to you condolences from Australia, particularly uh, from Mr. Raja Pillay, who has been with the uh, organization um, some 40 years ago. Uh, the then Lakshmi Entertainers was part of a very small group, the Velmurga Prey Mission. The compare was none other than Mr. Jay Keston, uh, Mr. Jay uh, Jagapale. And in the concerts of raising funds, uh, they acclaimed my uncle, Mr. Raja Pillay, as the South African Savaji Ganesan. So he sends his, co uh, his condolences from Australia and says, Thank you, thank you, thank you for the great human being that you were. Mikanandri. Special thank you to Kanta Dharmalingam, Lower North Coast Region for the I Stedford Movement. Dear family and friends, this tribute and memorial service will certainly be incomplete without that national anthem that you claim to have. Padigiren Anna Yengeni. We're going to have this song next, sung by four of us, Gopal Daniel Kiston, who is the original lyricist for this song. Shailen Pele. Ashley Kiston and myself. Praise to God. Check. One. One, two, check. Check. One, two. Yeah. 
தெய்வத்து சொன்னவழி பாடுகிறேன் உன் பாட்டு எல்லாம் அதுதான் உன்மொழி உன் மகனை போல என்னை தெய்வத்து சொன்ன
ladies and gentlemen, I place on record our thanks to M2 Sound Productions, Raymond's sound engineer, Norman Thaver, and a special thank you to Tequeni Funeral Center at 168 Loncroft Drive for the grand send-off that our dad receives today. I would like you to please kindly stand as we perform the concluding prayer. As we exit with the casket, kindly note that lunch has been pre-packed for you to take away at the entrance, and we have people that will help you and serve you as you make your exit. Once again, it is impossible to thank each and every one of you in, by name, so I'd like to thank all of you on behalf of the Kistan family from the bottom of our hearts to each and every organization, every message, every message of condolence and comfort. It has been well received and we thank you. Over to our officiating. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the final item on the program, which will be the playing of the last post. It is played to honor a person who has served his country and his people with distinction. The last post will be played by Rajan Mohanlal. May we all kindly remain standing. Jagamellam Pugar Petra Paramatma Ve Pirapa Mirapa Mella Yengal Deva Me Yangal Yekalamum Tangalika Adime and Ronar the Kondo Apadirukum Pachatil Yengaludan Pirande Valarande Inbatilum Tunbatilum Pangedate Tatpo the Yengalivit to Pirande Paralogam Adin the Kalan Chendra Subramani Kistan Avergalak Yangal Migavam Dukka Padugin Rome Anudaba Padugin Rome Devadi Devani, Anda Atma, in the Manolagatel, Warn the Pariendum, Arindum Mariamalum, Purindum Puriamalum, Terindum Teriamalum, say the Pava Venegali Porutukunde, Tangal Padar Vindangalil Sertukunde, Nadgadium Shantium Taruvadode, Melam Padaviagia, Nangam Padavi, Saichumana Padavitande, Mindum in the Kudumbatark, Jayajodi Agavande, Velichum Taravendum in the Kudumbatari Padukarte Irachike Vendum Yenbade Yengaludia Pratane Devadi Devane Deva Yerevane Tangal Padar Vindangalaka Alavilla Totirum Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Tirosetrum Balam Nandri Dear family and friends, kindly note that we leave to the Verulam Crematorium.
ओम नमः शिवाय 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 